set. Racing. Tribalist is away fast with Richard's boy, Christo Sky. Law Abiding Citizen on Pee Wee Reese starting to pick up steam. Mr. Rory five lengths off the lead. And then Gold Rush Dance, a simple man, three lengths to next shares. Pee Wee Reese dashes to the front by a length to Richard's boy. Then Christo Sky together with Mr. Rory. Tribalist splits that pair. Simple man five off the lead from Om Law Abiding Citizen. Then Gold Rush Dancer with ten lengths to make up. And next shares is last of all. It's Pee Wee Reese the favourite, a length and a half to Richard's boy, a length and a half away, Mr Rory on the inside from Tribalist, Christo Sky deep from Simple Man, Om, Law Abiding Citizen, Neck Shares and Gold Rush Dancer, three eighths to go, eight lengths front to back and Pee Wee Reese the leader, a length and a half to Richard's boy, Tribalist, Mr Rory the inside, Simple Man, Christo Sky next from Om, Law Abiding Citizen, three sixteenths to go, Pee Wee Reese from Richard's boy, a length and a half in the favour of Pee Wee Reese coming to the eighth pole. He extends his advantage to two and a half lengths over Richard's boy. Then comes next shares from the last position, finishing on strongly. But Pee Wee Reese has turned the Hernandez into a one-act affair. It's a dashing win from a most impressive next shares Finding the line with tremendous strength. Richard's boy third on fourth. Fifth either tribalist, Mr. Rory or Simple Man. The one dollar exactor pays thirty six sixty. Exactor thirty six sixty. Fifty cent trifecta seventy seven ninety five. Ten cent superfactor fifty one sixty two. That's the superfactor fifty one sixty two. The one dollar super high five paid seven hundred and twenty six thirty. Two dollar double fifteen even. The one dollar pick three fifty eight ten. The Consolation Pick 3 with the late scratch in the 6th of number 7, Saltero, 27.40. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back to the winner's circle, Pee Wee Reese, capturing the first stakes race of the new year, the Joe Hernandez. The winner is a five-year-old dark bay or brown horse by tribal rule from the unbridled song mare Bluegrass Bell, bred in California and raced by Nick Alexander, trained by Phil D'Amato and ridden by Joe Talamo. The Joe Hernandez Stakes, named in honour of the first race caller at the Great Race Place. Hernandez called the opening day meet in 1934 and continued in the booth until 1972. A legendary announcer, honoured with the stakes race this afternoon. And you'll find a bust of Mr Hernandez in the West Paddock Gardens. The trophy presentation is made by Daily Racing Forms, Steve Anderson. For Pee Wee Reese in the Joe Hernandez. Let's talk to Joe Talamo. Joe, huge acceleration. You love that hillside, and this one's got to be a pleasure to be aboard. Yeah, he's so fun to ride. I mean, uh, compliments go to Phil and his crew. I mean, they, they do such a good job with this horse, keeping him fresh. And I just try to try and be a good pilot when I ride him. He on uh, six and a half or fits a mile. He he always runs his race. All right. Well, congratulations. Good way to kick off 2018. I know you got to ride the next one. Good luck. Guy, thank you. All right.
Let's talk to Phil D'Amato. Phil, uh, again, uh, caught, caught last time out in the grade two race, but this time it uh, looked like they got test up early, but uh, just really just pulled away from the group. It's good when everything comes to plan. Yeah, no, it really was. Uh, the game plan was just to go out there and go out there winging, and if they wanted to come catch us, well, you know, we'll let them have at it. But, I, I mean, this horse is, just gets better and, be, and better. His weight and, and everything, confidence, uh, the way Joe rides him with a lot of confidence, and I, I think all that is making a big difference now. And obviously that turf course doesn't hurt too bad either. Hey, as far as the stakes company coming up for 2018, have you already let it out a plan? Will you be returning to graded company? Yeah, I think the uh, ultimate uh, plan is the Kilro Mile, you know, but we'll see how we get there with him. But uh, he's definitely worthy of that company. Nick said from now on he wants to let him know he's ready for interviews at all time. In fact, he pointed out you guys have two more going in if we want to interview him. No, have at it. That, that's good, good with me. <laughs> Congratulations and continued success. Thank you. All right. Pee Wee Reese, no triple. It's a home run in the Joe Hirsch.